Hello Denture family, I'm back. <laughs> so I posted a video earlier today um, about um, that I went and picked up my immediate dentures, picked them back up from my um, dentist because yesterday he put a Harvey line in them so they kept them overnight. Anyway, so um, I wanted to um, just have you guys have dinner with me. <laughs> um, nothing fancy tonight. I'm having microwave. I'm having a um, a chicken patty with mashed potatoes and gravy. It's like a fried chicken patty, like a breaded patty. Um, and then some vegetables with cauliflower and broccoli and carrots. And anyway, um, so when I went today, um, I know earlier you couldn't hear me very well probably on my previous video because I was down at my favorite place, the Colorado River. Um, it was a beautiful day, but it was a little windy. But, um, so today I wanted to update you guys since my last video and just tell you guys that, um, besides having dinner with me, um, that I chose not to put glue in today. So I've had them in since I got back from the dentist. Um, I got back from the dentist between 3 and 4. So I've had them in without any glue. Um, earlier I ate eggs before I went. Um, like I have said before, I don't gum well, but I gummed some scrambled eggs this morning. Because, of course, I didn't have my teeth. So, um, um, and I just, um, I've been, like, like starving, starving today. But I just want to wait till I eat dinner to see how they were going to do because I didn't want to put any glue in. I just didn't want to deal with glue today. I wanted to see how they would do without glue. As he said that I can um, try them with or without. Um, and he just wanted to me, as I was saying earlier, to um, just try them out for a couple days and see how they feel. So, I already know the bottom one's like slightly too big and is probably going to have to be cut down a little bit. Um but it feels like really different because um if you guys have watched my journey thus far and if you guys have seen um the pictures of my dentures in my previous videos how um they were really lopsided um when i first got them if you watch my other videos you know this if not and you're just now joining my channel um they were really big and they had to cut them down quite a bit and then they had to do a soft reline like within the first month or so because my gums were not tolerating the acrylic. So today I wanted to see if they could uh, tolerate this um, Harvey line. And um, I'm not in excruciating pain. And that spot right there that I, where I had the bone spurt, where I have had the bone spurs coming out and the bone slivers coming out, um, it's not too bad. I haven't had to put any Orgel on. I haven't had to take any ibuprofen. The roof of my mouth does not feel really thick like it did with the soft tissue um, soft line because he had put a lot in there. Um, so actually my top feel more like normal teeth right now. I mean, I've only had them in for a few hours. And when we first put them in, they fell right down. But then we put them in and I went and I swallowed and um, they're staying up there. So that's good. But I haven't eaten. Um, since I went before I went to the dentist, so I'm about to mac. <laughs> Is your girl's hangry? Um, and I want to put them to the test without um, the glue tonight, and then maybe tomorrow I'll glue them or see how I do. Um, the bottom ones, when I bite down, um, I feel them moving a little bit, but they're not moving as bad as the other ones did and everything. Um, I feel like I've got a new set of dentures right now even though I haven't been recasted and had a whole new set. But in a sense, because he did an impression in my immediate, so he took, you know, the soft tissue out yesterday, the soft line, and he put the Harvey line stuff in, and he made the impression. So um, they feel different because my gums have had a lot of healing, so they're not as uneven as they were um, when I first started this journey. So, I thought I'd bring you to dinner with me and try to eat a little bit in front of you. Um, before I go into my dinner, I think I'm going to try a potato chip. I'm a brave woman. <laughs> now, I will tell you, 
I'm not in excruciating pain, but my gums are going, hey, what's going on? Because they're used to having adhesive in there. And um, so my gums aren't agitated. They're not really irritated, but um, like I said, the tops feel snugger. The palette doesn't feel as thick. And the bottom ones, um, every now and then when I say a word, I can feel them move a little bit. But I haven't really practiced chewing since I got back from the dentist, so we're going to do that right here in front of you. <laughs> and um, all weekend I'm going to try, and then I will let him know on Tuesday when he's back in the office. I mean, I can go in sooner than then, but I want to see him. And um, so I'm just going to power through the weekend unless there's a major problem, then I'll call him up. Um, so I definitely... I know that the bottom one probably needs to be trimmed down just a, just a little bit just like it's not made it doesn't feel major major too big just a little bit um but with the glue it might make a difference i don't know there's a little more room on the bottom i can tell still um but honestly at this point and like i said i've only had them in for a few hours it feels different than the other one it, it feels like i don't feel like it's like lopsided in my mouth like like it did with the softly line. So I kind of do feel like I got a new set of dentures right now because um, definitely the fit feels different to me. And so my gums are kind of going, mm, this is different because they had gotten used to the dentures, the immediate dentures with the softly lines. And, you know, I've had those in since surgery day on June 11th of 2019. So, um, You know, my mouth has, when I first got them, I mean, you veterans know this, but the newbies, I will, and the newbies, you know, you know this, um, how your mouth is all swollen, so as your mouth shrinks, your dentures feel different to you. They don't shrink, but they don't change, but your mouth does. So, um, but right now, getting the Harvey line, like, I, I, I feel like I got different teeth in my mouth. Because, like I said, they, they, they're fitting a little different because my gums have balanced out a little bit more. And, um, yeah, so um, this is interesting. <laughs> That's just the only way I know how to describe it right now. But So I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat a little bit in front of you guys if you don't mind. And pardon me if I smack. If my teeth come out, oh, well, they come out. But I just want to try um, and see. I see. That's a sour cream and onion purple chips. I just want to try. Now, in the right down, I feel a little bit of a twinge right there. Um, but and I'm biting, eating slow right now because it's really slow right now. Because really don't want to get one of these up underneath there and have it stab me in the gum because you know that's like when you step on a goat head one of those stickers we have a bunch we have those out here in the desert like crazy my dogs bring them in when you step on one of those those things take you down and that kind of reminds me when you bite into a chip or a pretzel or popcorn or anything with your dentures your medium dentures or your dentures and it gets up underneath your denture that stinking hurts. <laughs> that happens. So I want to get gung ho and shoving everything in my face and have that happen because then that'll probably ruin my meal and then I'll have to go glue. And I don't want to glue. I just want to try to eat without glue. So here we go. Isn't too bad. Um, my gums are very sensitive, so I'm gonna put that aside. As well. 
because I don't want to fill up on chips because I need good food. And tonight, I was lazy. I didn't want to cook. I'm tired. I've been through a lot. Um, this last week, so actually since I had surgery, so um, I don't want to fill up on chips. So I've already pre-cut my chicken into my bite sizes um, and let my food cool down a little bit. Um, so I don't burn my gums so that you guys don't have to watch that, but here we go. little potatoes in there with that meat. That was a little difficult because my denture, so I don't have any adhesive in there, it's rocking a little bit. And when I bit down, it was kind of a little twinge, like a little pinch on my denture. But see how I do with my vegetables. I got some broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower here, so let's do that. Probably should cut that. And let's see the broccoli. I feel like, whereas before I didn't have much of a ridge, and the first time my teeth pulled, and I think that's what's strange for me right now is because, um, as I showed you guys before in my other videos and told you guys I had a little more jawbone on one side and that they were lopsided and how I only have four teeth of my own and then a bridge when I was cast it. So now I kind of feel like I have more of a ditch, gutter, whatever you want to call it, which before I didn't because like... I had like no ridge here and then this would go right here a little bit of a ditch and then it would be all flat so now I actually feel almost like I have a horseshoe in there and that I have like the gutters so that's kind of strange to me you know and the fact that I could talk without adhesive in or even chew and like I said the the, the bottom one was rocking in there when I was trying to eat that chicken the actually the chicken was a little harder for me to chew than the chip um it seemed to be making it rock a little bit you wouldn't think so but yeah but um yeah i mean i i haven't really felt like i've had really teeth on the bottom because that was shaped so weird um so yeah that's interesting right now you know so i kind of feel like i'm starting this journey over all over again right now i feel like um that um i just got teeth for the first time as they feel they feel different to me um but i'm excited because now i feel like i'll be more comfortable to try the denture fit um but yeah i can't believe that i even bit let me try this again No, I bit it that wrong. I stuck it, the whole thing in my mouth. Which I shouldn't have done. And then, there was water food in your mouth. And I had to quickly get my tongue. And I had to try to put it to one side. Because I didn't bite. Or your teeth scissor in the front. If you guys go watch Denture vs. Food. Bill Westland's channel that he recently made. The new one. Or any of his videos where he's eating on his original channel, your favorite denture where um, he tells you how to how to push the food and how to put it I just stuck that in my mouth. I didn't like scissor it, bite it first. So technically, you get a carrot and just try with the carrot. 
I need to bite with my front teeth. So to put the whole thing in my mouth and try to start chewing. Like that, see? I don't have to take that small bite, so I just do that. Put the camera for good. I see I stuck that in my mouth, but when I did, I stuck it right there where the scissor teeth go. So I was able to buy it. This is a broccoli, you know, those hard chunks on the bottom. But they're usually harder to chew, so let me try one of those. Sorry, I'm drooling. Not trying to do too, but you see how I stuck it? I stuck it right there where my scissor teeth go. So let's try a chicken again. This time instead of sticking it in my mouth straight, I'm gonna bite it. Now as long as I sit here, and be careful and eat like that. I don't get in a hurry right now without this, without the adhesive. I'm doing okay. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's not uncomfortable, because it is. And now I feel like I have something hard pressing into my gums. piece of chicken and broccoli stuck into my bottom denture and then just now the bottom, top denture tried to come down when I drank because I um I think I switched too hard see when I first started my journey um I couldn't drink hardly water or anything without Everything that I tried to eat or drink, even softer, would just push my dentures out. Of course, I didn't know how to navigate things. I was still learning. And, um, well, I'm still learning, but I was brand new and didn't have a clue what I was doing. Um, I quickly discovered Bill's channel and started watching there, thank God. But, um, I learned to bite my cup. For those of you that are new to my channel, new to this journey, I'm going to bite my cup. And when you bite your cup, your tongue comes up, and um, liquid doesn't tend to go out underneath and push your denture out. It goes right down your throat. A little trick I learned. Bill might have that on his channel, but I um, probably haven't watched that one yet. But anyway, right now, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me eat my whole meal because it's probably going to take me forever without glue. But, um, right now, as long as I don't, like, scarf everything down and just, like, get in a hurry, take my time, I'm doing surprisingly well when I have any adhesive in for the first time. It's like I said, this is the first time, other than right when I had my extractions on E-Day, that I didn't have adhesive in. I think my dentist had me start using adhesive on day... Right. But then I chose um, to wait for another week because um, I felt like when I would take them out when I had used it, and I was only using the Walmart brand at first, that um, I was afraid I was going to rip my stitches out and everything. So I was freaked out about it. But um, I survived. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm um, doing a lot better at the moment. So we'll see if I have sore spots tomorrow when I get up. Um, the top one um, has good suction, which is good because before, without any adhesive, um, you know, and, and my dentist said today that most people do use adhesive all the time. And I brought up the denture fit to him and I was telling him what everybody was telling me about it 
and he said I definitely can try that so I think I'll try that and we'll be getting some as soon as we can and uh, yeah right now I'm functioning I'm getting used to them so um, it's only been a few hours so uh, I'll update you guys after the weekend and let you guys know um, how it went because as you know I could be sitting here telling you I'm doing great and then a few hours later or tomorrow not but right now I'm not in too much uncomfortableness you know um, like I said things feel a little strange uh, they feel different than when I went to the dentist yesterday what I came in with they feel different but um, as far as the top I think it's fitting really good and I don't have a rough spot there which I had on the other ones and I had to keep putting a sebon patch on there because it was rubbing my roof of my mouth raw if I didn't put it there and make it bleed so that's not there that's gone he fixed that and uh, yeah I, I actually feel like they feel more like natural teeth I mean I'm very aware that I have dentures but they feel I think at this point I'm gonna say they feel better and uh, I'll just let you guys know um, from here but um, yeah so I'm gonna go finish my meal and um, I will talk to you guys soon so remember guys stay strong don't quit don't give up you can do this and you got this I love you, Denture family. Peace out. Mwah.